compassion goes a long way. Uh, we have uh, lots of medicines, your diagnostic models, but uh, the current era lacks in compassion. Compassion uh, to the TB patient from the point of healthcare does matter. So guess getting tested was one aspect. Only if they get tested, they could be adequately treated. Towards the early days of my post-graduation in pulmonology, uh, when I got trained in one of the elite institutes of Russia, the Moscow Medical Academy, where uh, seldom people, foreigners, get access to, uh, I was able to uh, visit prisons of Russia as a part of my TB risk. The conditions were ghastly, very scary. Uh, you know, even with the comforts of warm clothes and good food and travel, getting into prisons to see with my own eyes the pathetic conditions in which prisoners were subjected to, it was scary. Kerala is doing fairly well in terms of health education and uh, uh, bringing health to the public, uh, to the grassroots level. Uh, unlike uh, in the larger states of uh, India like uh, UP and Bihar. Maybe I'm Dr. Sunita Narayanan. Way back then I was, I was not a doctor. I was then being trained to be a doctor uh, when I reached Russia. That, those were the days when it was the Soviet Union the Ernst, erstwhile Soviet Union. Uh, soon after, a couple of years down the lane, uh, Soviet Union became CIS, that is the Commonwealth of Independent States. Uh, my mother's family had strong, convincing communist links. Uh, and as a child, I was very much uh, eager to go see and uh, experience the communist country, which was the reason why uh, I chose to go to Russia when I had an opportunity to go to UK and get trained. Uh, so a couple of years down the lane, um, the communist era, uh, all of his students started changing. Uh, the communist, uh, the uh, Ernst when USSR became separate independent states. Uh, things were changing, people were fighting for food, for medicine, for commodities like sugar, soap, uh, and uh, it was difficult but still we maintained, uh, you know, we, we continued. Uh, as we were students, we, we were in a safe zone uh, with certain basic minimum things uh, available to us. So, uh, and language learning, I, I thought it just happened. I, I didn't have to put in so much of pain to learn the language. It just happened. Perhaps it was the age, perhaps uh, it was, you know, you just have to speak the language where nobody or most people did not speak English or, uh, you know, Indian languages. So it was more of a compulsion rather than uh, a choice. So it, it just happened, you just learnt it. Right. Yeah. And you also got to see TB back then in your medical education? Yes. Education. Towards, um, towards the early days of my post-graduation in pulmonology, uh, when I got trained in one of the elite institutes of Russia, the Moscow Medical Academy, where uh, seldom people, foreigners, get access to. Uh, I was able to uh, visit prisons of Russia as a part of my TB risk. The conditions were ghastly, very scary. Uh, you know, even with the comforts of warm clothes and good food and travel, getting into prisons to see with my own eyes the pathetic conditions in which prisoners were subjected to, it was scary. Uh, part of my thesis was uh, connected to TB prevalence study, 
uh, in India and uh, I happened to and that was back then, right? back then in uh, between 95 and 99 yes. and uh, Dr. Katiar happened to I was associated with Dr. Katiar then in GSVM Metal College Lucknow uh, he so he helped me or he guided me through my uh, academic uh, journey uh, let me say my first computer was a 484 computer uh, we are not talking about Pentiums or you know the advanced ones. It was a 384 and 484 era. Uh, compiling data was difficult. Uh, accessing people were difficult. Uh, the transnational difference was also very uh, difficult to incorporate and. Uh, the disease finding, the active TB case finding, uh, search for latent TB, uh, it was all uh, things that in my study at least, I found it difficult in India because we did not have a system then. Uh, if way back in Kanpur, if the head of the family had TB, uh, we, I mean, we went with in mobile vans searching for patients in the rural Kanpur. Uh, if the head of the family was uh, uh, afflicted by TB, uh, then if we asked the family members to come get tested, there was some amount of resistance. So, guess getting tested was one aspect. Only if they get tested, they could be adequately treated. Kerala is doing fairly well in terms of health education and uh, bringing health to the public, uh, to the grassroots level. Uh, unlike uh, in the larger states of uh, India like uh, UP and Bihar, maybe uh, geographically a smaller state makes things easier than you know the larger states. Mm -hmm. uh, the population is more uh, and uh, the degree of literacy helps people uh, easily understand uh, that health means a lot to them personally than to the community. Uh, TB is usually seen as a community disease. Uh, I think we need to change our attitude from community disease to personal disease. Per when it comes to person, people tend to uh, react more respond more uh, and uh, maybe uh, they may be able to hold responsibility to their own illnesses. I think things have to be much more uh, easier for the physician at the uh, base level yeah because uh, a rural agricultural farmer or a person who has not much access to the cities he will approach a physician in the rural community and uh, the physician of the rural community need to be knowledgeable uh, as such uh, in a phc the doctor may be seeing 50 or 100 patients a day uh, it would be difficult for him to analyze a tb patient address whatever issues that he is facing and then uh, pass him on to the next level of uh, TB diagnostics or care in the community. So uh, I think at that point, at, at, at that level, uh, it should be protocolized. Uh, we, we are so much used to protocols these days. Uh, in, the, in the primary health center levels, I think we can give questionnaires to the patients, ask them to fill. We can give a part of the questionnaires uh, would be patient fill, part to be filled by the paramedic. And finally, the doctor can fill it up and then recall the patient to address the issues further. The world is evolving. Medicine is evolving. TB treatment is also evolving. So it would be good to uh, stick on to the goods from the old times and incorporate the changes that the finer, newer medicine has brought us into the old ones.
I think uh, we'll have to dwell much into the way it, uh, the missions, the laboratory missions are uh, framed in such a way that uh, different kinds of diseases can be diagnosed using one and the same machine. But, uh, you know, these are all amplification methods, the nucleic acid amplification methods. So it can be applied to any illness, any, any virus or any bacteria. Compassion goes a long way. Uh, we have uh, lots of medicines, newer diagnostic models, but uh, the current era lacks in compassion. Compassion uh, to the TB patient from the point of healthcare does matter. Uh, a lot of a lot of TB patients, though uh, they do not want to take medicine, it's because of the personal relationship with the doctor he continues to do that and comes back so be compassionate be kind educate uh, be with them even if they miss their medicines uh, they'll get back to us and then we can continue the journey thank you so yeah. much